All right guys, 2018 shad fishing and it's um, June, June 9th and there's so many freaking people out here and then we just got here, it's 2 p.m. Let me show you guys all these people out here. So they're all lined up trying to catch some shad. They're everywhere. People were catching earlier, I saw. But um, we're trying this spot out for the first time. Never been out here. I mean, not out here, but this spot. Usually we're out there. Like way out there. I see, I was doing like out there, there. But there's too many people. I don't want to go out there. It's literally shoulder to shoulders. It's here, you got some room, as you can see. So you can stand beside other people. This one guy catching some right here. Let's see. Oh yeah, he's got some. Hopefully he doesn't get away. But honestly, I don't know how he's supposed to get down because it's a big old cliff. Oh, he lost it. Dang. I want you guys to see what it looks like. But um, I mean, I'll catch some. I'll show you guys. And let me show you what it looks like walking down here. I gotta go down this ledge. So hopefully I don't slip and fall. I gotta carry my cooler and then have my parents carry my fishing pole. Mom, can you grab my fishing pole, Matt? Matt, fishing pole. And then we're gonna go down. So I'll record again when I get, when I get down. Okay, so mom and dad didn't want to go fishing there because it was extremely hard to get down that little cliff. And we're trying this spot where we always go to our regular spot every year we come. It's a lot easier to walk down because the big boulder of rocks. Let me show you guys. There. So you can see this was of rocks, but they move, so you gotta walk carefully. And we're so thankful it's not raining because the forecast says it's supposed to night be 9% rain. But look at this. Rain clouds are coming. No. But over there, it's nice and blue a little got a little blue spot but um shoot I'm not sure where we always go down oh we go down right here so this is our spot here we go wish me luck hopefully I don't trip and fall and break my two front teeth <laughs> I don't I don't bag them mom okay right we made it to the bottom and apparently I got lucky because there's a whole bunch of people over there no one right here so it's be my spot and then there's a billion of people over there. So let's do my first cast. Hopefully mom can record me. So you guys can see me catch some freaking fish. Got my first fish. Hopefully it's a big one. Right here. Oh, it's a tiny one guys. That's what a shat looks like. This is shad. Usually they get way bigger. Right in my face. Okay. And then put in the cooler, Mom.
Yeah. Look how big he is. <laughs> okay, mom. Okay, so it's raining. It's about to pour soon, but it wants to go out here. So apparently it's pouring rain and I don't want to go up to the truck because it's really far and I'm hiding under a tree and this tree is actually keeping me dry. I'm just, what I'm going to do since I'm taking a break and waiting for the rain to stop and it's super windy, I'm going to try to record people and watch them fish so we can watch them catch some fish together. Okay guys, let's do this. Fish. Yeah, he's catching a fish. Yeah, he's catching some. Let's see how big the fish is. Can't really see. Oh, I f oh yeah, you see it jump? That's pretty cool. Right there. Yeah. They're running. Yesterday, almost 300,000 went through the dam. That dam. Whoops, there, that dam. Oh, this guy caught fish too right here. That's awesome. There you go. He caught some. I think that guy lost it. Oh wow. He literally just caught one. You guys saw it put into his bucket. And now he caught another one. There's dad. What's dad doing? <laughs> oh wow. It's so strong. You hear that? It went Like it's pulling the line. So hopefully it's a big fish. Usually the big shad does that to you. Oh, I'm just gonna go out there and fish too, but I'm wearing jeans with a raincoat. Oh, did you see that jump? Oh, you didn't see it. Sorry, my bad for being a bad camera person. My hand is cold, it's shaky. It's cold out here, but it's so worth it. Like, I look forward to this year every single year because they only run. Oh, he lost it. God dang. Oh, no, he's still there. So, um, they only run, um, like, oh, I think almost the entire month. Yeah, an entire month. And then you have to wait till next year. So they start in like, um, in like beginning of June, like now, till the end of June. So I have, I still have a whole month to fish for these fish. But I think I'm gonna go back out and fish again. Ooh, look, there, look, that guy in the blue caught it. And then another guy over there caught one too. See, it's so crazy that everybody's catching and there's so much fun fishing for too. Like I said, I look forward to this every single year. And if you're curious what I do with this fish, I mainly use for crab bait. And then um, I try smoking, it's pretty darn good, but the best way to do it is um, pressure cook. When you put in a pressure cook, cook for two or three hours until all the bones like literally melts. And it tastes just like canned tuna, literally. You know, you put your seasoning like tomato sauce and blah, 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 whatever you, you use kind of seasoning and they actually taste really good. Full protein, like me, I'm trying to bodybuild and stuff. So this could be my diet for in the next month until I get sick of it. But like I said, I usually try to smoke it and smoking it, it's okay. It's just full of bones. Hopefully it's a big one, Mom. That big. It's okay. What's that? 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 Okay, my better. I lost the fish. Dad's got one, I got one. Hopefully I can land this one. It's a pretty big one too, you can feel it.
there. That was hard. Okay, man. Looks like my dad caught another one. He's been catching it all day. I caught maybe, I don't know, 20, 30. Dad's caught probably same price. Let's see. You can see the fish down there. But it's coming up. Come on, Dad. Oh, I see right there. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. Nice, Mom. That's a nice one. Anyways, we're still out here fishing. And we were fishing like extreme, extreme rain. It finally stopped, so I couldn't really record. But I'm gonna keep going for a little bit more. It's too much fun to give up. All right, guys, gonna call it a night. We're gonna stop fishing. Cause we've been here for like probably five hours of so much fun. Fun action with the shad fishes. They, they, they jump, they do everything. There's so much fun to fish for. You guys have shad where you have, wherever you live. I would highly suggest you go out there and catch yourself some shad or just for fun. There's so much fun. Anyways, we're gonna um, head home and then I'm gonna clean the fish. I'm gonna show you how much I caught and stuff. It'll be great. It'll be a long drive home though, 45 minutes. Not bad. There's a lot of people here that comes from like Tacoma, Seattle. Good three hour drive. Because I, I, I don't understand why these fishes are highly prized or highly wanted because they're so bony. But like I said, we use them for crab bait and stuff. But anyways, we're gonna head out. Such a successful day. Can't wait to get home. We're soaked. Well, I'm soaked because the wind blew a whole bunch of rain all over me and my jeans. And my shoes are wet, my socks are wet, everything's wet. <laughs> Can't wait to get home, guys. But check out the drive, let me show you. Isn't that lovely? I love just cruising in the rain in the truck. I don't know, something about being in a big truck and driving in the rain. Well, I'm not driving, Dad is. So it's safe for me to record. But anyways, guys. Oh yeah, if you guys wonder where this is at, we fished at Bonneville Dam. This is Highway 14. And we're heading back to Vancouver. I love this drive too. This is where I usually take my motorcycle and just hit it here. It's fun, fun, fun. Nice curves and stuff. But anyways, I'm gonna catch you guys at the house. All right, we're home. Let's check out the fish. Let me show you. Ooh, one fell out. Look at them. Ooh, let me help out the truck. Yeah. And let's open the cooler. Bam, baby. Look at that. Cooler full. That was so much fun. Oh my god. And I can't wait to eat these because they're a, a lot of these are full of eggs, I'm assuming. And I love fish row. Especially when I'm trying to bodybuild full of protein. And then I was having so much fun, I didn't want to quit. Mom, that's like we got too much. So I'm gonna give this out to my friends and stuff too. And I'm gonna check this watch. Look at that. Because I couldn't stop fishing, so we, just, we ran out of stuff to put in, so I put it in the plastic bag too. But anyways, I'm gonna give this a lot to my friends and stuff. Because like I said, I don't really like to eat them, but the, I'll eat the row. Anyways guys, if you like the video, don't forget to thumbs up, smash that like button, and don't forget to comment and subscribe. Like always, I love you guys, and I can't wait to show you guys my next videos. Peace.